Hart's ideology fit who I am and who I want to be in the future. Four years ago, a very shy, nervous, frightened girl came from a very small town in India called Patna to London to study at Hult. Well, that girl today is on the cover of the official Hult's website. The first thing the world sees on the official Hult website reads Malika Bubna, Indian, class of 2022. And the journey of these four years have been incredible. I cannot be more grateful to the entire community. And also I cannot uh, appreciate each and everyone who has been a part of this journey with me. This video is my way of saying thank you to Halt. This video is, uh, is also for people who are looking into Halt and are deciding if that's the right school for them or not. Let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Malika Bhubna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a very requested video. I am literally standing in the middle of the library at Hult International Business School, London Undergraduate. And this video is literally about my experience at the school. And this video is made for people who are indecisive about the decision of coming to the school or not. And also for people who are very curious about what I did or my four years at the school. So if you are one of those two people who would want to know more about the school and what you can do and what I did, please watch this video. Let's get started. Hey guys, so you can see that I've made myself pretty comfortable here. Uh, in this video, I want to show you guys all my favorite spots at Hult. And we are at this place, which I like to call the Thinking Cube. So my first day at Hult, I still remember how intimidated I was coming to the school and being thrown into this new life I had no idea about. I felt very lost and I was thrown into this place with people from more than 140 countries. 140 countries. But I was so pleasantly surprised. Everybody understood that they came from different cultures, different nationalities, different countries and they embraced each other's cultures and our different backgrounds which instantly made me feel that I belong to this community. And that changed my perception about the school. Sure, when I first came to Hult, I had a list of colleges I had to transfer to after my first semester. But I soon realized within the entire semester that no school is good or bad and you cannot judge a school based on its rankings. It all depends on if you belong to that school or not. <laughs> I mean, I can't compare uh, Hult with Cambridge or Oxford. Those schools are hundreds of years old and Hult is barely 12, 13 years old. So yes, please choose a school which you think you belong to instead of going through rankings. Life at Hult. Well, life at Hult is anything you want it to be. Hult has a limited number of courses you would have to do every week. However, you have enough time for yourself to decide what it is that you would want to do for the school, in the school, with your friends. There are every class at Hult has team projects, so you will be busy in team meetings, you would have gone to the gym, you would have gone to meet your friends, hung out with them and done multiple things. However, there are multiple clubs at Hult as well to keep you busy throughout your uh, Hult journey and to also help you upskill. Uh, behind me is a board of clubs and societies which are divided into social, professional and sports clubs. One of the clubs here is also a club I run at school since three years called the Social Entrepreneurship Society. Uh, we'll talk more about that later, but yes, you can also uh, engage in these clubs and if you don't like any of them, you can start your very own. So it's not that difficult, it's amazing and you can do multiple things with the time at Hull. You can also do a part-time job. There are multiple jobs Hull offers, so you can do one of those. And if you are still free and want to do something else, you can literally be a part of the student council by the Hart Student Association. The board before me literally has the HSA for this term, which is the president, head of club societies, head of student life, and so many other things. And since we talked about head of student life, I want to talk about all the very cool things Hart does. Uh, when we have exams, we have midterm finals. Hart has something called the therapy week where we literally have massage, uh, massage people who do your massages come to the school. We have free pancakes, we have dog therapy. So we literally have dogs come to our school to keep us calm. They give us face masks and so many other things. 
So you will find something to do at this school. Another thing which you can do at HALT is the HALT Prize. I am literally sitting in the, one of the meetings room right now where I've spent most of my time at HALT with my teammates for class presentations and also for HALT Prize. We were here for hours every single day. And HALT Prize is uh, a challenge founded by HALT alumni 10 years ago. It happens every single year and people from all around the world can participate. Uh, and since it was founded by HALT alumni, HALT emphasizes great importance on us participating in this competition and I have participated in this competition my very first year with my two amazing classmates and you would not believe it the idea actually came from one of our classes at HALT from our midterm project. So just want to show you these meeting rooms and how we spent hours here drinking our coffee. Quick fun thing HALT now recommends us to bring our own coffee cup from home or offers these cups instead of plastic cups to be more sustainable which I think is very, very cool. So as you can see, I'm standing in one of the classrooms at heart and all the classrooms have a maximum capacity of 70 students, which makes heart all the more unique and uh, interesting than other universities where people have more than 200 students at one classroom. At heart, you're not just a number. People know you, you are a name, you are a student, professors know you. Uh, you are almost 50, 60, 40 people in one classroom so you are able to ask questions and you have the autonomy to understand everything clearly and ask as many stupid questions as you like. Apart from that, we are people from all around the world in one classroom. So we have people from more than 50, 60 nationalities sitting together. So if you're talking about COVID for example, the most talked about topic ever, uh, we have opinions from different countries and people who actually know what's happening in those countries which makes the entire class more interactive. I remember in Econ last week we were talking about the Australian voting rights and about how in Australia people can vote who are below 18 years old. And we had somebody from Australia who was talking to us about his experience of voting at 16 years old which gave us so much more insight about what we were talking about. So at heart, classrooms are fun, engaging and makes you want to be you. Since HALT is a small school, any transition made here is so seamless. For example, COVID, right? I still remember I had to go back to India in March 2020 and within days my classes were shifted to online and we didn't even feel a thing. Our professors were online and everything was as usual. And in times, we literally got a call from our student services to keep a check on our mental health and to see if we were alright and if we wanted somebody to talk to. We have counsellors in school who literally reached out to us if we wanted help and talk about our personal problems. And my point is that at Brit universities, you would not even know your staff and your management and who to ask for help to. But at HALT, you are a part of the community. They are with you at every step, at every problem. I still remember during COVID, we were all lost about what to do, what not to do. And HALT was busy organizing online yoga, Zumba, painting, cocktail making competitions online for us to keep busy and to keep engaged. It's a small school so they actually listen and care about you deeply which I appreciate so so much. I remember my first year and we were in intake of 300 people and we felt that there was not enough space on campus. No kidding, when we returned back another semester, the campus space was doubled. which just made us feel like they listen and somebody actually listens to what we have to say which makes us feel unique and special. I am literally sitting in one of the biggest classrooms we had at HALT which is 1A and this is where the online students are in every class and that's where they are again <laughs> and it's amazing. Life after HALT. Uh, this is the last leg of the video where we'll answer questions like will I get a job after HALT? Uh, will I get an internship during HALT? Is HALT's brand name powerful enough to get me selected for the job I've been wanting or the internship I've been wanting or so many other questions? Uh, the answer to those questions is I don't know. Uh, the answer to those questions is nobody knows. I've not been able to understand the job application process and I'm not a big fan of it either. Also, every company has a very different uh, job application process. They have a different uh, things, list of things they would need in their ideal candidate. And what I would do in that case is 
not think about which university to choose, to choose from depending on if I'll get a job or not. What I will do is if I want a job at Amazon, I will do informational interviewing. So in simple language, I will look at LinkedIn, look at people who are doing uh, jobs that I would initially or potentially be interested in. Those positions like sales director or assistant sales manager, for example, I would then send them a message and ask them to come on a call with me where we can just discuss how is the application process for like, what's their life like, how is it like working for Amazon in that position and so many other questions. And that is a better way to uh, send in a more customized job application for that company and to get selected instead of depending on the school's brand name to get you in because I do not think any brand name would get you in except Harvard, but that's not what we're talking about here. Uh, rest, uh, talking about HALT, HALT has a very established career scheme which helps you with your CV. It helps you to choose which industries you would want to work in and so many other things. Uh, and also I've talked about that HALT is one of those schools which teaches you soft skills which you would need uh, for your interviews. And how you should sit and how you should dress and so many other things which I do not think a lot of other schools uh, teach. And I think that's what makes HALT different. Uh, we actually care about how you're going to do in the real life. And that's why we try our best to imitate real life at school to prepare you for it. Um, we literally have, I have a sales management class and we had a presentation the other day where uh, our professor was one of these HALT staff and we had to sell a service or product to HALT. And the entire class was an imitation of us being a company which is like 50 years old and us being like business development managers and sales directors and so on. And uh, Prince, uh, our professor uh, was uh, just asking us questions as an HALT uh, employee who would want a product or service if that makes any sense my point is that do not choose a school uh, based on their brand name no school can get you a job except harvard or so many other, like schools like which are ivy leaks uh, so please don't do that i think halt has exceptional career team and also great courses to prepare you for the real world so that should not be a problem apart from that quick advice uh, if you want an internship really bad you have to work for it uh, so do information interviewing, know more about the company, see if you're a fit or not, and see how you can prepare yourself by doing extracurricular activities and showing certain skills, like they want leadership skills. Start a club at Halt or uh, lead a group and talk about it, and that shows leadership skills. So choose a company you would want to work for, do information interviewing for people of people who work there, uh, identify the skills that would be ideal for the position you would ideally want, start working for them at HALT with the numerous opportunities the school offers. And without making this video too long, let's move on to the next part. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. I genuinely hope this video it helped at least one of you. And if it did, please feel free to drop a thumbs up and a comment below. And if you have any more questions, drop that as well. And I will see you next time. Much love. Bye.